Uh. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, good. Wow. Okay. Well, it was, oh, I wonder why it got shut off. Maybe it shut off when I did that thing and I didn't really start, you know. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, you. Okay. That's where that goes. So uh, the doors are all going to go in this way. Doors in here. There's going to be a little opening right in, in here. Right. Well, that's that's the area. The nice thing is these broken pieces of the wood here. A little more up there. Okay. And some sliding doors up there. On this side, everything follows that. And this is off a little bit, but I'll bring it down. Just maybe just a little wider yet. This area here, this is all just going to be the stuff anyway. The shapes, a couple shapes. Uh, I don't want to draw the attention away from from this area anyway. So this stuff off the edge of the painting and stuff are just going to be just strokes and stuff. Pretty simple stuff. Boat. Let's get the boat in, coming in, feeding in from there. Uh, let's bring him over a little bit. He's going to run too close to the. I don't want to create too much of a line going straight down and going over here. So bring it over. Just get the basics for it. Now, I'm gonna put in that boat. I'll look at it and say, okay, well, it doesn't have to be that long. Thank you. And then the other boat here. Goes right into my crease, nicely, nicely into my crease. <laughs> uh, oh well, I'll figure it out. I'll iron it out or something later. You can iron it. Yeah, I could probably iron it. I'd probably put something over it and press it out if I had to. So, would ironing take care of like that bulging thing that happens with the linen? Uh, if, when you when you mount it and stuff. It's no, like before, like let's say I have canvases that I taped down and then it has like waves on it, right? Uh, yeah, 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 kind of like, yeah. Um, if you just tape them down, you know, you you could probably pull the tape and stuff and you probably, yeah, you probably could do something there. But I'm not sure. Not you exactly. could, I could iron it, right? Yeah, you could iron it, just put a... If it's all if it's dry, yeah, you can do whatever you uh -huh. want. This paint, the paint will take the they take the heat pretty good for a while. So if you aren't gonna like destroy it or anything, but I put right. a couple sheets of uh, of something like uh, uh, butcher's paper or something like that over it uh -huh. and stuff, you know. And then then you no, know, don't direct iron iron it and stuff. So that could help. But you don't it. iron the back side. You iron the top side, the painting side. <sighs> Oh, I can't say. I, I haven't done it. I haven't really done oh, it. Okay, okay. Right. I'm just Understood. thinking about how I could get rid of this thing if I if I uh, have a problem with it later. Right. I could always trim it. <laughs> yeah, or I you could put so much paint on it that there's no bulging. You can there you see go. It. That's yeah. a, that's the easy way. Just at least know that you know you might have a problem before you you get there, right? <laughs> Right. There you go. That will help. Okay. So here we go. We got the basics of this thing drawn out. Thank you. Kind of a little, kind of nice. Feels sort of like it. Let me stand back for a second to look at it because I just kind of you know, windows here are going to have to come in. Go in there. Yeah. But I'll do that. I'll do that. I'm not even gonna worry really worry about the windows. I'll just put them in later. Put them in. I mean, after I paint the sides. 
speaking of that, let's dive into this side here and this kind of stuff here. I'm not going to worry about too many of these little little things because I would rather get the sky in there and then I'll paint those couple of these little things back in. Except that's the easiest way to go and easiest way to do it. It's usually always the correct way to do it. Try to find the easiest way to do it. And that's what I'll do. Not these, like life then. That, yeah, see? Not like life. <laughs> not like life. Oh, okay. Not like life. Okay. I thought that you were saying like your wife says. And um, oh, don't start, Jim, because she's I, here. I, okay. He's being, philo he's being philosophical oh. about life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's 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 wow. let's stay for that. Let's stay in that direction. That feels a lot better. Wow. I'm <laughs> okay, you do. Woo! Woo! Get out of that one. <laughs> okay. So I'm still gonna just use my biggest brush I have. And this is like uh, that like I was talking about before in classes. This is like a Walmart brush. Uh, I get them in the craft section. They're really great for this size. I mean, it's like a, almost a one and a half inch brush or two inch brush almost. And it can breed, it holds its line really nice. So I can get these drawing square things and it's long enough that, you know, it's a good measuring tool and stuff for things. It's a nice being able to relate one size of thing to another as you go. It's really uh, kind of helps simplify things. As I go, so I'm going to just use this just to do the thin paintings of the of the undercoats and stuff. And this is I'm going to start off here with uh, my burn umber, my burn umber and blue mix. It's just straight burn umber and blue, and I'm just going to you know start layering it laying it in this section here of the building. And I'm going to go with just the burn umber, more burn umber thing. I want to make sure I get this one little spot here really dark and into the warm section. This is like that right here, this little area here of the, where it sits on the footing of it, of the building and as it sits there and stuff. I really kind of like being on this side and stuff. It's a lot warmer. I really want to get this really clean right in these little areas here. And I'll go back up here and just use a little bit of that on into this blues and stuff here too. And this is just this amount of work there will work will pretty much do that area there. Uh, you don't have to overpaint yet. I'm going to go up and think about the shadow here, <laughs> painting the painting. Uh, in there. And I'm going to keep it, still keep it a little dark, but this is just burn umber, more burn umber. It's a little bit warmer than the, the bottom side, bottom part of this building. And I'm just going to bring it right in so it's almost split in half this side. And then you get this light area here. And that was the burnt sienna in blue and the, and I'm just gonna you know put in the triangle of color here for it. And I can lighten it up or anything else, but basically I have it, you know, have it start having it marked for myself. Also on this back end here, there's this building here over here says it's kind of, you know, has a peak too. So let's just lighten this one back corner of this thing just a little bit. So then we'll paint the front. I'm not going to worry too much. I could almost paint what I have left on my brush and put it up and use that for the, some, some of the roof too. It's really thin. Didn't do much. Didn't do anything. Uh, so here I'm going to go in with that. Uh, this is burnt sienna, and on the blue side, 
Whoa, that's supposed to be blue, it came out red. Okay, a little more blue than that. This is in there, I mean, that's in there, that can be in there. I just wanted to get systems on the lower part. That'll work. Uh, I'm also going to use it back over here too. So this goes right in this spot here. But wasn't supposed to go in uh, over the, over the wood. But it goes into this part of the building here. And then I'll paint this stuff up here. This is going to be uh, basically burnt sienna. And this is going to be cut with a uh, little bit of that uh, cat orange mix. And I'm just gonna put it in more on this side. And I'm still using that big cheap Walmart brush. And you can just see the edges I can get with it. I mean, very easy. It is really crisp. Yeah. Yeah. Crisp I mean, line. for a cheap, cheap brush. I tried to find it, by the way, online. I couldn't find it. Yeah. They come in a two-pack. Except that, yeah, they're on the in the craft section. I just pick up, I always, whenever I go there, I always pick up like three or four packs of them. Never know what, you know. That way I don't care about it. I just don't even care about these brushes. I barely wipe them out when I'm done with the painting and stuff. I should be a little bit better with them, but I'm better with my good brushes. <laughs> I guarantee you that, but these guys, I don't really worry too much. Let me get the angle right. Just gotta, can't see it from over here. I'm painting from an angle here. Maybe even give it a little bit of Gives a little bit of age instead of making it too too straight. This one should come over a little bit. Okay. You know, boat people take care of their stuff. They do. They do. This is slight. This is slight. This is age. That's that's not <laughs> breaking down. Come on. <laughs> this is this is your painting. This is the one you wanted to paint. Give me this. Give me that. Right? It is, it, a good, no. it is a good composition, I think. It'll be, it's a nice one, yeah. Okay. I am now going to paint this little stuff here. Uh, I'm just going to paint some squares. What I want to see is this door being open, is being able to see the red right in that door. So, uh, and I'm going to go, I'm going to paint it dark first. I'm going to go with some. Uh, that a lizard and crimson and uh, burnt umber mix for inside this door first. And just uh, put it in, I'm gonna put a little bit lighter on the bottom. Then I'm gonna go in here to some of that, a little bit of Venetian. Right, right in the area here, just to lighten it up. It's almost pure Venetian, it's almost, but it will mix up nicely with this stuff and I'll use that for just that little light area here maybe overpaint these doors a little bit with some glass and stuff just if it's bit. Venetian if it's, is Venetian red this pretty close to burnt um, sienna it kind of is but it's kind of burnt sienna with just a little bit of uh, cad red into it and stuff uh, a lot of people use uh, uh, terra rosa, rosa. Yeah. terra rosa, or Indian red. And stuff. I mean, if you would, if I don't have that, I could make it with burnt sienna and red. And can red. red. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could. Let me see. I think you can. Burnt sienna is really pretty close to it. Can red. Yeah, looks pretty close to it. Okay. Good. Thanks. This is this is fact that color and stuff. I'll just you know I'll put that there. 
Thank you. Now, run. There's a little line of it up here too. So I got some use out of it. Um, Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, I need to get these windows here. The key to this 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 one is these windows here, uh, and I want to get these guys as dark as possible before before I can put in these highlights. And it's warm too. So I'm gonna go back and put in burnt umber. And uh, it has just, bring it over here a little bit. It's on the warm side. And it has just a little bit of that lizard in it. But it's really darker. Maybe put in some of that very first blue in here too, at the, in the bottom corners here, and up top. Not worrying about the panes of glass because the panes of glass will take care of themselves, pretty much. Okay, now just to run a few more, clean up this area, that area. There, okay. All right, so that area there, it's gonna be, that's gonna work. Pro, uh, just thinking I need to get, before I leave that area and stuff, maybe I, I should start putting in just a couple of these darks with that paint and stuff since I have that color, color on my, on my brush here, I could, I know it's going to be right here underneath this uh, eaves and stuff of this building. So, might as well put it in. Maybe just a touch of blue into that color too. Make sure it gets on the blue side. I don't want to get a little bit of blue to show through because it goes really good with the kind of browns and stuff. Maybe it gets a little cad red, a little, a little red at the very edge but that's okay that's pretty good enough for the roof what is too. that line you place sorry i my volume right. went out yeah what is it uh that is the the shadow here of it's under the, uh, burnt umber huh what is it that's, burnt umber mm -hmm. oh oh yeah yeah it's burnt umber and blue maybe a little bit of maybe you know, there's a one spot here, it just feels a little warmer. Right mm -hmm. here where that door, there's a big door up here. It goes right in there. Stuff, but I don't want to put it in yet. But I, I can put, let me work a little bit more in that spot. I'm gonna change off brushes though, to do it. And I'll put in the window and stuff. I was talking about putting that in. Uh, I'm going to put it in with just a little bit of the sky purple blue and just put it right over this thing and I go strong and I'm going to bring it back. Just a little bit too bright. And just, I'm going to go back here in the shadow area and put the other, this other window in. Mine went too far with that one. And this, okay, that one has a little bit more yellow in it. And this one is more purple, has a little more blue and blue and red into it because it's in the shadow area. And I'm gonna think about these other windows down here. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the beach area here too in my brush here because there's a lot of I was just looking for like the basic overall feel for it before I go in just to mark it. 
come back. I think I have, I can use it right there at the bottom of this wood here too. I can feel it the way it's mixing and stuff. I think I can get it to kind of work, work there. A few other places. There's a little slot over here of wood that's missing. From there, let's paint this, get, get rid of this. I'm gonna go back to my big brush. And think about, there's some cement right here. I can get, I don't know, go back and start putting in the sand. I'm gonna first start off a little bit though, a little bit darker, put in the shadow areas, and then I'm gonna, and that I, in fact, I'm stealing some of this, this color I was using up here. <laughs> I'm gonna just use some shadows, because it's really close, and when I, end up blending out this other stuff, you know, just for, for placement and stuff, it's good. And now I'll, I'll bring in the sand color here. That's kind of sand, it's probably gravel. I don't know, I can get rid of that, that line or not. See, I can't, that's gonna be, that is gonna be tough. Oh, well, let's shorten that boat just in case, you know, I can always have it sticking off the edge of the painting, but I have to trim it, make this a square painting. So you guys have lost, pretty much, on this video, you guys have pretty much lost all the mixings and stuff too. So sorry about that. I don't know what happened. All right, I'm gonna mix up just a little bit of the cement color here for this thing here. And that's just burnt sienna and blue and a little bit of white. And it's just gonna get the basic tone going back in here. This is gonna block it in. And I go this boat. This is that. This is lizard crimson and just a little bit of blue into it and some white. And I'm just going to put in this, this edge of this boat here. This is the rowboat or thing here. It's a little bit warmer, so this is a little cat. A little bit. A mix of lizard and cad right here on the sunny side where it's hitting. I can get the rest in a minute. Um, go into these other boats, a green boat. Right into here. Those blue are in the inside, so he falls back behind that boat. And we got this guy here, just insides of the boat. Paint that. It's a little darker than it should be. And the, then you got the really bright boat. I'm going to bring it out just a little bit farther. I want to put in the this water here, or the this is that grass on the other side of this water here. I'll just throw that in because uh, there's a reflection next. 
this is going to be go right in here it goes right here and then it kind of reflects mirrors into the water so i'll make it a little bit lighter gray her out gray it out just a touch it goes right into the back of the building here give it a little more angle and i'm gonna Hello. Okay. I'll just go and put the water in. Make sure it's not too bright. It is a mix of uh, glycerin, crimson, blue, white, and a little bit of, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, there's just some cutting, cutting in and out and stuff I hear. Keep thinking it's somebody talking, asking questions. So it goes right in the Yeah, good blabbering. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. These people. They, You're what interrupting my conversation. That's right. You're interrupting my conversation. <laughs> You're having a conversation with yourself again? Well, you can, nobody can hear me because you're still talking. I, I can hear you. <laughs> there you go. Now we're making progress. I didn't know Ron was talking. I'm sorry, Ron. I'll shut up. Well, of course. Okay. There's a white boat back in here, too. All right. This is pretty much it. That's... I'm done. That's I'm not doing anymore. That's all you guys get out of me today. That's all I feel like. <laughs> all right. Uh, and like I said, if it's the sky, I'm not going to paint right now. I'm going to worry, worry more. Now I'm going to go back in with these guys, start working on getting this stuff and start uh, working out this area here. And I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to go back to my, my big synthetic and do that. Seeing what I've messed up drawing wise. Um, I want to give this stuff a little bit to play with. So I'm going to go put a little bit of, a little bit of this grass right here I made up. This is that burnt sienna, burnt umber and, and yellow. And before I go in and paint these doors and stuff, I just want to just give a little bit of color to them. So I'm thinking I had that, I kind of want them on the yellow side and stuff. So I want to have, give the new paint I'm going to put on something to play with as it hits. Right in here is going to be really important. This little area right here where the light, some light kind of comes through. So the difference between these panes and stuff. It'll be very interesting to do. All right. This is the ochre and white mix right here I'm kind of putting in. And this is like the bottom of the doors. It's really a simple little brush stroke, working with some of the other colors I put in here but underneath. Stop thinking ahead. I want to go back in. I'm just going to put this line. And above the doors and stuff. Before I put the, let me put a little bit of more work in these guys here. A little bit lighter, just more white in that ochre and white. 
want to really see the difference between this spot and this what's going to happen here. So let's work on that, popping that out. And the idea is make sure there's a shaft of light that goes around here and that these lines are going to match up with the light. And that's, if you can get that, you know, it's going to look out, it's going to work out real well. This one, you know, before I paint the middle of spokes of the, of the windows and stuff, I want to make sure I get a few things. Uh, Take, taken care of before I paint those. But I can get these guys just with a little bit of work. The light goes right to there. Okay, I'm going to go with a little bit smaller brush. This is like an eight. And I'm going to go back in and do these windows, some of these glass, there's some of these, gla there's glass in some of them, there's not glass in others. And stuff. So I'm going to just start putting in a couple of the glass panes, knowing that, you know, we're going to break it, how I'm going to break this thing up. And put these panes in. Uh, maybe move that one a little bit farther. I just do this one. Very light touch. Letting some of the back uh, blend in. Making almost a little checkerboard going on. This one got a little bit bright. Jim, are you just laying that color on? Because I don't see how you keep from blending the dark with the white yeah i'm very very gently putting it on and uh it it just blends just a little bit and that's what i'm just seeing these little transparencies here in the, in the light they're showing up the other thing is you know uh thinking about how this light's kind of cr crossing across here some of these some of these panels are just going to be just slightly warmer <laughs> so you just kind of go back in with just a little yellow and uh, put it in a couple of these spots here i want to be able to see through and then you'll there's a whole effect will come across uh as soon as uh, uh i put the put the rest of the framing in but this is how i do it i'd go doing it this way. Yes, I find that interesting. You're not doing pain by pain, you're doing them all together and then you're making the pains out of them. That's, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I, it, it's a lot harder to go back in and paint in, in between those little white lines than it will be to uh, just paint this and I'll use the white lines to clean up my uh, yeah. bad yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's fascinating. There you go. I am now fascinating. <laughs> you, Ron, I am fascinating. Yeah, I'm sitting here just thinking about you, Jim. Oh. <laughs> a lot to take in. A lot to take in. Oh. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Thank you, Ron. Um, all right. for you, Jim. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> all right, so uh, just you know, there'll always be a little bit of cleanup. Now I'm going to go back in. Now I can. I got this. This these things kind of patched together a little bit. Yeah, there's a couple little light areas showing through that I can see the sky and stuff behind on here and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna I'll go back in and put those in later. I'm gonna well I paint the sky. Let's get busy on 
you know, making these guys work. Okay. Now I'm going to think about, I have them there, but a couple of these guys have to be, uh, need a little more uh, uh, light on them, some from the sun. This is like, so I'm just going to add a little bit of white, a little more yellow to it. Just a touch of yellow, mostly white. And I'm going to get these little areas here, pop them out a little bit stronger. A lot of times this effect doesn't show up till the, till the end. Wait, you know, this a this little bit of work I'm thinking about now. Now go back in and hit this line here a little bit strong. Okay, I don't even get the into this line here. All right. Most of the tough parts on that on these uh, guys are done. Now, the nice thing about being old doors and stuff, you know, you can get away with a lot of little goofy, goofy things we're doing here of uh, <clears throat> adding, uh, simply cutting paint like this and being able to make uh, what's going on here. Except just by cutting, cutting the direction of the paint. You don't really have to change it too much. You don't even have to change. Uh, you know, change your color a lot. Sometimes you just have to change the direction of your stroke. All right, I'm going to take my knife now and do a little, and, and just go across these guys. There are thin, thin little lines. And there's only three of them, so I just got to break this into thirds. Just enough. I'm gonna overdo it. Follow those lines down. I'll start getting the fact. Alright, I'm gonna go back and now paint some of the wood on this guy a little bit more and stuff. Now I've got my uh, synthetic out again, my big synthetic, and I'm going to go with some of that burnt sienna blue and just a little bit of white and get a see what color I have here. And putting that door in a little bit stronger here, where that door is going to go, putting in a couple good strokes. 
not messing up everything I just did. A little brown right in here. Just following the direction of the wood too, not like changing up too much. I'm gonna come down here and make get this a little more, a little more paint right here by this door. There is that. It is missing a few slats right there, but I'll catch that. How are we doing? Got an hour to finish this, guys. You guys ready? You guys almost there? I know a few of you guys are probably way ahead of me, right? Somebody sh should be. Come on. I'm going to move this a little bit for now. I got to get in this corner here. This has just, I'm adding just a little sky to this brown, this burnt sienna and stuff too, because graying it out and stuff. Yeah, I'll we'll bring it in here a little bit. Maybe just a little more down in here. Okay. Maybe use it for some wood over here, a few spots. Okay. So it's just a mix of color coming down. Uh, it's going to be a lot bluer on top. I'm going to make it a little bit right up here. It's catching the sky a lot more. Let's put a little more sky color. Basically, I'm just adding sky to this burnt sienna mix. Burned, uh, yeah, burnt sienna and blue mix. I'm going to change the angle of this roof a little bit too again. Move this over. I just missed. So I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Good to have some blue show through. Okay. Start cleaning up some edges here. Uh, let me go back in. I should have probably been on this side. This is burnt sienna and blue. There's a touch, touch of uh, ochre probably in it. And I'm going to do uh, get this light cider side here. I'm going to draw it straight down. Just a little oil should help. Then I'll get to these other windows just a little bit more now. That helps a lot. That helps a lot. <laughs> this window is a little square. Okay. Got a little bit of work on this side to do. I want to get, I'm kind of missing the, my dark blue umber mix. Almost a purple going right in here. 
there's a door, a little doorway I kind of been throwing in here. I haven't been, I haven't really knocked it out. It's going to put it in. I think it's going to be a lot thinner than that. Make sure the perspective is right on this stroke. Feels more like there. Okay. You know, I thought this was going to be a faster painting. I thought really didn't think I was going to, but I think there's so many kind of cool details in this uh, in this wood and stuff. I got kind of hung up on it a little bit, which is okay. And I'm going to start throwing in just a little more sky into that bur that burnt sienna and our uh, burnt umber and blue. Just a little sky color because I think that's going to that's going to be reflecting right into here. These little areas here, so little lower areas, and then this back panel of building back in here. I see it. Now I want to make sure this is darker than that too. So, a little warmer, but we can put that in here. Make sure it's dark. I found it interesting from this one and also the barn we did a few couple weeks ago that all the colors that are in brown, brown is not a, is, is such a complicated color. It can be. It really can be. Good point. It is. I always find it very close to your in in the purple family and stuff. And that's a. It's really kind of fun to know. You know, if you just took out a little yellow, you're going to get pretty much a. You're going to get purple out of this thing because it's basically red, yellow, and blue make make brown. And uh, if you take a little bit. Of, don't put the yellow in, you got purple. So they go really pretty good together. Gotta get rid of a little bit of that window there. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of purple into that, that part of the window there on that one. That's starting to work out. Uh, so yeah, basically I'm just using just a little more by putting in the sky color here into this, into this color, into the browns and stuff. It's really neutralizing it, dulling it down, getting the age I want on the on on the wood here. And now I'm just gonna there's a little doorway right here. And a lot of details there. Let's go back in and just put in a little bit more. I think we're probably way too low on that. Um, I'm just going to put in some of these windows here. There's a lot of brown in, in these windows down below and stuff. So just try to, I'm just trying to dry brush it on. I'm not trying to overpaint it. I'm trying to do the simple thing. I'm also seeing a, just the shadow of this other building up here on the peak. Now I'm looking closer. I usually don't try to look very close at at these things. I just try to take a quick peek and interpret what I just saw. And uh, since I got that color here, I'm just going to put, there's the little thing that sticks out of there. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Sometimes close is, close is good enough. I'm not a super traditional, you know, it's Super realistic painter. I'm just going to put in some of these, here's a little bit of stuff here. I see that I, I think are interesting. I like things, I like things that go from light to dark and carry through and stuff. That's always one of those kind of fun things I like. In painting. And if you can get these little things to work, they show a lot of character in your painting. I'm just using the, my knife to make a few 
few cuts here. A little dark that should have been here. Just splitting these these squares, basically making the, the glass panels and stuff. Just using a little bit of the this side of the wood on the here over here, and I'm just gonna just cut cut these guys up a little bit. This one I only need to really do one, maybe two at the one at the back here too. This one back goes in a lot lighter. There's a little. I'm gonna put it in with just a little bit of watercolor over here. I use put these couple panes in. Slitting as I go. Let me see if I can get this area to work just a little cleaner. I'm gonna go do my other brush. Really want to try to just get this the idea of this light coming through. Got to be broke. This shape has to be broken up just a little bit. Let's really push that guy out in the back here too. Make sure that stands out. I'm going to cheat this thing a little bit. Make sure it reads a little bit better. Just not doing it. Then there's this one panel here. It's a little, a little red into it. There, and then you got a couple broken ones on the back end here. Put a couple lines in. I'm using that color down from here. I'm gonna no, I'm not using that one. This is a lizard and brown. I'm gonna use that and just make this door line. And put it in with the knife. That's gonna be nice enough. Get the shadows. Well, I have this color on here. My knife, so I have my knife out. I'm doing this kind of stuff. Let's dig in a little more deeper on the on this thing. It's all a little bit of nice knife work now. I mean, there's a piece up here. Yeah, I'm thinking seeing. Up here, and it kind of runs up here. Just a little more angle. I'm going to go right about this the shadow of that thing. I put in really thin. This is just burn number and, and cad, uh, not cad right now, burn number and uh, lizard crimson. I'm using and I'm just using it as a as shadow color. Really sharp shadow color on, on these this little area here. 
and I'm just putting it in with my knife. Just put it in the way. A little stronger, a little deep here. And I'm going to come up here. Right in the middle of this peak, there's a piece of wood right there. It's catching, catching light, but it's also dropping a nice shadow. And while I'm there, I can probably get away, keep going with about the same color. And this is that, uh, I'm going to put it right underneath this, this lot, this peak. Stuff. I'm going to start putting it in, putting in the shadow. Oops, some things. We'll give it a little weight. All right. Well, I didn't do the middle of the door. There's a line running down this thing. That's the door. That's it come down. Pretty much like that. Okay. All right, I'm going to block in. I'm going to put in the sky real quick. I'm at that point. And then I'll put in some boats, boat colors. And uh, that should, you know. Get me moving along. I'm gonna use my big brush again. Good clean, clean. Ooh, not a clean brush. Clean brush. All right. I'm gonna just put in some sky. I'll give you guys time to catch up. Go slow then. Yeah, well, I'm just putting it in the sky. So, you know, you guys, this sky can go in almost any time. I mean, you can put it in the end and stuff. I'm not going to like worry about. I'm all clock. caught up, Jim. What? I'm all caught up. You passed me. I thought you were done. No, no, I'm caught up. I'm, I'm good. Let's move forward here. You didn't show me your painting either today. I tried I, to, but, but you weren't paying any attention. Well, what's the difference? Something about setting up. Oh, that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. I did forget about it. We'll have to, after class here, yeah. we'll go over it. But that's an excuse. Well, I just give it everybody. Uh, one more thing is, uh, I was thinking is but on the Facebook uh, thing, I don't know, has everybody got an uh, invite and stuff? I see most, a lot of you guys there, but nope. uh, I didn't see Karen Mang in there. She might not be doing Facebook. I did. Uh, she's hot and cold. I got your message that you gave the link, but I didn't see it. So I couldn't put my stuff on, Jim. Oh, don't worry. We all, we all, I put your stuff on. We all had a good okay. laugh. Okay. We all had a good laugh. You know, I had a good answer, though. That's the thing, even the viewers. All right, I will try again. I will try again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We got it. <laughs> what is uh, that edge thing sticking out of the roof? What is that? Uh, I'm sure that's not much. It's just, I'm making it a little bit more than it is in the photo. It is just a, I'm sure it's just a, 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 a wench of some type to lift up boats to bring them into these, into these doors here. It's just a, it's just can a. Can we can see it sort. in the photo? Oh yeah. Duh. Okay. 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 God, my observation is not the strongest. Okay. Yeah, it's there. 
it's there. It, but it's it's not like uh, you know anything strong in the painting. So I'm not going to worry about. I'm not really taking, jumping in on it. And I'm just basically modulating this color down a little bit as I go down. I left the. I start off my kind of my, you know, dark a little bit darker blue on top, and now I'm working working it down, and I'm using a little of my lighter blues. It's really thin. I don't. I'm going to repaint it, but I'm just using it right now to start to get some color variations in here so I can start thinking about you know how it's working with this color and stuff too. You know. Then I guess I get down here, it's going to be that kind of a little bit of alizarin and blue. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit brighter too, supposed to be, but that doesn't look like brighter to me. Got too much color mixed up in here. Probably should have turned around did the other way. I'll lighten it up in a minute. I just want to get something in there placed. All right. Oh, I got yeah. I can get it right here on it. Bring it in. Okay. Now I click all these little things I said don't. I got a little light on my my brush here and stuff, so I can paint. Blacking these boats real quick for us. Uh, let's fly back into this boat. There's a lot more little uh, lizard in it. No, not lizard. Well, it has a um, ochre in it. So I'm gonna make sure I push the ochre at the bottom of the boat bottom of the boat here. Let me put this back up now. Get on my hands. I don't care if it touches the back. I got to repaint that, that sky. And just think about the shape a little bit more of the shape. I don't know how to unleave it. What was that? You or you or what? Is that Ron? It's not me. Oh, sorry. I was trying to figure out how to transfer the, the, the computer from one device to another. Sorry. Oh, somebody needed it? It, it was, it's Karen Maitland. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's, on, it's on her iPhone. Now, yes, I transferred to an iPhone and now it's, I'm, I'm confused. So anyway. Okay. So that, that's so, just Just you. You're confused? We don't know how to mute you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to. I don't know how to mute myself. So there, I'll just. I've been quiet. trying for years to mute her. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work on Karen. Karen's <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> doesn't work on Karen. We know that. Tell us about it. We love you, Karen. Yeah, thank Karen. you, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> yeah, Karen. I was confused once too. You know what helps? What? Whiskey. What, Ron? Whiskey. What? Whiskey. Oh, whiskey. Whiskey helps confusion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's okay. true. Pass out. The, the trick is to pass out. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> you, you drink enough whiskey, you won't be confused. <laughs> Everybody well, around me may be confused. confused, right? Everybody else will be confused, but not me. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with that? <laughs> a little bit. Well, there's a darker boat back in here too. Uh, I'm 
Let me see. I just got just a shape right here leaning out. Maybe I can more of a shape than a anything that needs to be defined too much. I'm gonna say, you know, say it's part of a dock too. I'm gonna to put a little bit of a dock right here behind this dark kind of brown boat here. And I can just use some of these colors I use here. I'm gonna to have to bring these guys down into the boats. I thought this was gonna. Oh, I missed a boat. I didn't put that that green boat in the right spot. Well, I did. Just didn't take bring it up high enough. Oh well. No one's gonna not miss it. Clean up this edge a little bit. Let's make a dock back here. Put in a little bit of, oh, really, it's just, I think it makes it a dock or post. And I see one right here. So, and it's red, it has a little, almost like this stuff here, so I'll be able to steal it from there. And get away with it. A little red right in here too in this cement here, this area. Throw that in. Talk about putting in this, where it's really missing now is this spot here, this uh, little pieces of wood and stuff probably from another building. And like I said, I wanted to put them in at the end. I don't want to paint around them because they're going to be kind of simple to put in. No reason to, uh, you know, work hard painting around something that doesn't need to be at the end. It's not going to be anything. And I'll paint these kind of little things in these little lines. It's, they're just basically lines with a thick brush. Little angle to this one. Yeah, a little more aging effects stuff to do, but See right through this into the wood right in this one spot here. It's a little lighter than anything else. Almost has a little gray to it. Let's see if I can just not popping up the light. I want it to. That's closer. That's closer. All right, now I'm gonna go put in, we're gonna see through these lights now. Well, I mean these, these windows a little bit more. So, just gonna go ahead and clean them up a little bit. Like a,
me see if this is right. Yes. Start getting through this area to All right, so I didn't touch the roof yet. I guess I better do something to it. But as we go, this is where it's going. It's like, oh yeah, we talked about uh, also, you know, in the photo it has this uh, sailing uh, a little ship here coming in. So as you can see, it probably doesn't really need that. I think almost, uh, you know, you can if you put a shack over here or something. You know, just thinking about the, the lighting and, and stuff. You know, put a put a little shack on the on the, on the water here. You know, just look, you probably do about the same. Let's help. Uh, so you're adding that just to, to balance it. To balance this heavy thing, to balance it, mm -hmm. and to stop it, because oh. stop this line and stuff. So I'm just going to do it, and just know that the you know it's going to reflect a little bit into that water, you know, like that. I'll you know work. Basically, I'm going to think about the, how this the colors on this guy are working, you know, the yellows and stuff, and kind of use that on this side. And then take this kind of sh shading effect, put it over here and that. That's where I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, here, let's put, I'm going to also put in, well, I got my, I'll take my knife and put okay, in the so heart. Question If you trim off and make it a square painting, would you still need to do that? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Because I'm drawing a line <laughs> right where you were thinking. I know. What a cry. That would be like a stupid little thing to do, wouldn't it, if I was going to trade it? But this is just, you know, for class, for sake of anybody, no one else having that problem. You know, maybe we could, you know, you can get away with, I would think about putting something else there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could put, the, put that boom or uh, going across here. And stuff. I was just trying to think of maybe. What something. if there's a cloud coming in? Would it could, work? That might be strong enough to do. If, you know, if you had something coming in, yeah, that, yeah. that might do it too. I mean, right now or I just a, don't have. Or put a lighthouse. How about a lighthouse? I um, mean, that would be you know probably an easy find. Wouldn't to find something yeah. like a lighthouse? Yeah. A teepee. a teepee would look good there. A teepee? I've heard teepees <laughs> work. <laughs> I, that, that's a possibility, Ron. You know, the I, teepee, yeah, of course it is. You know. <laughs> teepee is always a possibility. Are, are we talking toilet paper? 
it's, it's kind of a yeah, Andrew, you weren't there for the joke that oh my this, my computer this is a couple of gonna... years ago. A couple of years ago, uh, Ron put a teepee in one of his pictures, and we've been giving him a hard time ever since. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. like a, and it, was, yeah, it just keeps come popping back up. Yeah. Was I think it was our there grand our our um Grand Canyon picture, wasn't it, Ron, that you put the TP on? In fact, I, it was... I don't know what you're talking about, Frank. It, oh, okay. it was Sabrina's. <laughs> it was Sabrina's uh, Grand Canyon painting. We, oh. that was, so. You remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we know right where it came from. Right. It was Never. my uh, Grand Canyon trip and Ron's painting came out so fantastic. I exactly. still haven't finished it, by the way. Oh, you tried. Ron put a teepee on the top of the cliff <laughs> there, but no. <laughs> Maybe it was another I, picture. I, I have problems with it being factual and stuff. That is my <laughs> historical and stuff. I, I know it was wrong, and I just couldn't get past it. Well. Right, Ron? We worry about but, those you know, you're exhibiting. A, 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 an incredible lack of imagination for an artist. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> that is true, Ron. Yeah, that's right. That is good. That's okay. You got me there. I'm trying to free my artistic intuition and you're just hammering it down. <laughs> I am holding you back. Yeah. I can't believe it. I'm, I feel bad now. You know that I, I just see teepees in a lot of different places, but I'm afraid to put them in now. <laughs> <laughs> you got those Chicago paintings going. Yeah, that's right. They were in Chicago. Huh? The one you got going today, it would work fine with, right? Okay, we should change the topic now. Oh, wow. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> we, we've hit a sore spot here. Let's try. I no, I mean, I think uh, we'll have to take a real good look at his painting today. Everybody. <laughs> you guys are getting too close. Too close. I'm putting my mask back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really? Poor Shame little Ron. Ron. Poor little Ron. Very really shameful. Shameful, all of you, really. Uh, you know, Ron, we, we feel sorry. We, I feel bad now. Yeah. I do. Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea. <laughs> to make you feel bad. Which, for some reason, makes me feel good. I don't know what it is. I don't know how, how that always happens, too. All right. I'm just gonna just work on cleaning up these this doorway one more time. This one just gets a little more a little more low right here. Oh, well, that's pretty much this building. And there's going to be a lot of little touch ups, light wise things. The boats are always going to be a little more work. The time we got here, we got 15 minutes to make these boats. These boats work. And I and try to get some of this. I don't think we're going to get that far, but we can work on it. I'm going to take and do a little uh, more sky blue into this, into this boat here. 
Let me get the insides of this boat a little bit closer. Basically, what I'm going to try to do is match up the styles. I'm not going to try to detail one thing way too much more than the, the other. So even when I'm doing this stuff, I'm trying to paint uh, paint with the same emotion, same stroke. Not detail something out just because I like it. Not like Ron would do. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> did you work on that painting at all this week, Ron? Did I did, Jim. Okay. I did. Thought you might have a busy I'll week. Or at something. the end of the class, I'll happily show you so you can tell me what I need to redo. Good. <laughs> What what you need to change, hey? <laughs> yeah. Boy, boy you're would, open, Ron. I would to, never do that. There's a well everything a can be improved. There's a hint that he's enjoying himself when he does that. Yes. A hint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a little bit of just sort of, just of sort of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let not too much. It, let me poke it a little bit. Yeah. Usually it doesn't need to be changed at all, but I just like to do it. I suspected that. You know, I did wait a second, did that come out of my mouth? Wait a second, I take <laughs> that back. <laughs> wait a second, I opened my own self up on that one, yeah. didn't I? Ooh. I think you're gonna need a mask pretty soon, Jim. Yeah, where's my mask? Uh, I'm gonna put a little cad uh, orange into the color, into this red here. Sometimes it's the only way to get reds up, push them up. You gotta, especially when you're already at the high level of red, you keep it keep the vibrancy of the color. You know, that's where this kind of cad orange kind of comes in really nicely. I'm just gonna use that into this edge of the boat. Then get the dark edge. If I have a question, if if you add yellow to red, it it doesn't really make it more vibrant. It just seems to make it grayer. Is that true? That's almost it. And <laughs> it just. So that's why I was using the cat orange mm. into, into it. And that, that helps. Sometimes you, reds are kind of, reds and yellows are the tough colors to get right uh, because they all, because you, they're hard to lighten and keep their, and have them keep their strength. Yeah. So that's why I always like, you know, this cat orange kind of will help me on that, especially with a, I can't red, you know, the light in it. So let's get the shadow in just a little bit better. Hey, how's the new people doing? I think I lost them. They tongue up on us. I'm still here, just on mute. Okay. I figure you just closed up on us, ran away. That happens a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. It just does. It couldn't be me. No, it couldn't be me. Mm -hmm. So just a little detail, more details. I gotta figure out. I, I I wasn't listening when you added the post to the far right. Um, what did, what did you say about framing and having that post on the right? Over here. Yes. Did you say oh. anything? And I missed no, it. No, I, I just said I just said uh, put it in after we 
this is why I've been waiting because I wanted to put it in after uh, I had everything else in uh, because it's so easy to put in. It, there's no reason to, you know, paint around something like this and stuff when you can just lay it lay it in here in two seconds. And, you know, I, instead I, of paint, I, painting in between shapes and stuff, just doing it. Assuming, assuming you were going to frame this, would, would that worry you? That post on the right, if if you were going to frame it. That's what I'm. I'm kind of going in here now and going to tie it a little bit to these guys by giving it a, a little bit of light, uh -huh. so it's not, not just a uh, you know goofy uh, black line and stuff. Now I'm just, that's what I'm. That's thank you, Karen. Thank you. That's what I was thinking about doing just tying these guys together just a little bit more but not over paint giving them more information than they need and if there's anything else i can find in here i can dig out just to make this spot a little interesting Okay, okay. Uh, that's bad. Yeah. Clean up this area, this window here jumps out at me saying it's something wrong. I should straighten it up. Crickets. What's the, the the door is wrong or what's wrong? No, uh, uh, it's just straight line off. Uh -oh. So I'm going to go, you know, and just hit this. Give me a, give myself a line here. Give myself a line on the other side. It's a clean up thing, just a Just a hair hair off. I'm gonna go back in and just hit that's a little fun. My knife. Maybe clean up this edge here too. I'm working at an angle, so it's always a little, just a little tough. I have to come over in front just to get that red line. Oh, I need that. There, one highlight above. Okay, okay, how are we doing? All right. All right, just all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, following. Just Oh, you are following. Good. Good to hear. I know better. I got to watch you. He's not following. We're in trouble. So how's Michigan these days? Did you, were you part of that militia going around? I think you were. I think I saw you. <laughs> you, did, you, were, you were wearing a mask, right? You were on the state steps there in Lansing? It was just so such a selfish thing to do for those people. Did you see there were like kids running around? One kid I saw. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, don't Could you not care believe about my eyes? Yeah, no, weird, huh? Was uh, was that one of those cases where they're having fun and I'm not, or I I didn't 
I didn't read. No, they they were uh, at the at Lansing, a bunch of them. You know where they took over the state house. The street. Mm -hmm. And what 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 was their message? Message is why everything is shut down. (laughs) Oh. They, they want don't... them to be open. Yeah, in the last week, even Home Depot, uh, pl- your back stores aren't allowing gardeners and um, access to even a gallon of paint. Uh, it's considered non-essential. Yeah. So there's issues like that. So if you can't even do gardening and trying to keep up with weeds out here. Uh, yeah. It's a mainstay for a lot of businesses here in Michigan. So I sort of understand a little bit of the grief. Mm-hmm. Uh, even when yeah. you're something related to your business, but here, if you're depending on your uh, mainstay is, there is a lot of farming in this region and gardening around where I live. It's a big deal <laughs> that you can't even get the basics wow. in regards to your business, uh, that that's shutting down that part of, uh, you know, something that keeps you alive. Didn't you guys right. get, snow? you guys got snow just like us though, right? Barely. I'm south of the uh, snow line where I live. Uh, maybe different oh, yeah. for your other uh, artist here. Oh. I've been doing lots of projects around the house, and one of them need paint. So I would, I would hate it if I couldn't get paint. Right, for sure. So I, yeah. the paint thing happened, by the way, after that, right? No. Or was it at the same end, time? Last Sunday. Uh, that was stated, uh, you cannot go to your back store. I have a friend that's very much a carpenter and um, uh, makes right. it this that way. And he said, that's kind of ridiculous. He's up in the northern part of Michigan by Cadillac. That it yeah. Affects yeah. Him. And there's I a lot understand. of small, small craftsmen up there that depend on that just to keep alive. You know, they could paint your house yeah. while, while we're in the downturn or, you know, that kind of thing. So. Yes, I, I think th- this is the time to do those things. Well, I, I think they're just trying to keep everybody safe somehow. It's always better being safe than sorry. But There, there is no right or wrong answer. It's just we need to get back to our lives, my God. Yeah. Because staying alive is number one, of course, but... You know, protect your kids. Want... Protect mm-hmm. your kids first, you know. Right. Always, you know. Then you can just... Yeah. But what I don't understand is when we, a lot of us like to walk, it's the only exercise we can get and they're closing the parks and things. That's ridiculous to me. I don't understand. I think that. a state park in Michigan, I, do, I think, uh, uh, I think you still can go out and walk with your mask on and everything. People are not out and about that much, but a lot of them are. A lot of the pe- folks are walking outside. I walk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still they don't. Except I never I walk walked one. even when the thing, there wasn't any problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't go out. <laughs> but you, Sabrina, you probably got in your car and drove somewhere, though. No, in February, end of February, I haven't stepped outside except for my backyard and front yard, like the front porch. That's it. Wow. You? I wow. have not. Yeah, I have not. So you're just being a conservative? Or what? I mean, you're just really No, watching. I mean, oh, so anytime we went out, my husband is driving, like, except for my work, but weekends, he wouldn't even let me drive. He drives, right? So yeah. weekend activities were like grocery shopping, watching a movie or eating out or is going he to Fort the Wayne. Too? He's picking the movies sister. too, isn't he? <laughs> right. So, uh, so. It's uh, and then if I the workout I have basement I have a couple of equipment I use but I'm not big on that either. 
So yeah. I make myself down there like weights and stuff, but not not actively go out and do have an evening walk. I don't I don't do it. It's a, it's I could have had the habit, but every time I step out, I get an allergy effect. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, well, that's yeah. true. Tree, trees are budding now, and yeah. that's when the allergies are at the worst this time of year. Right. 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 You should get yourself a dog. Yes. I was <laughs> thinking the same thing. <laughs> dog will well, I have it. It's in a different form. Sorry, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not going to say it out loud anymore. <laughs> I had a nephew that was allergic to dogs and uh, dander for a while, so he ended up growing up in the beginning toddler years with a mechanical dog. Oh. I, was, I was thinking, okay, this thing raises its leg and it could <laughs> take a bag. But I'm thinking, I, I, you know, I kind of grew up with sci-fi. Remember those old movies after... Yeah. or something that what is this like kid gonna how is he gonna relate when he finally gets over whatever the allergy phase is builds a yes. and can own a real dog yes. a mechanical dog so go figure <laughs> but you say this mechanical dog actually pooped and did wee wee no or no it just <laughs> the mechanical <laughs> movements wee -wee. to a certain degree <laughs> So you, you didn't have to take it for a walk. Is what no, it stayed indoors. Uh, oh, they just went on the carpet. Yes, that is not the real. That it's is not, not real life. Simulate like a you know, what was it like the doll that could cry or something? It didn't have that part of it working. Just oh, that. <laughs> yes, no, that, that that that's not real life. Sorry. <laughs> Karen, just think of a Betsy Wetsy doll. That's what you yes, <laughs> exactly. But at least you, I, I had one of those, you had to give it a bottle to make it weepy. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the dog was deficient that way. <laughs> it did bark. <laughs> <laughs> could roll over and uh, lift its leg up like it was doing its act. Doing its business, but yeah, it uh, did. Oh. <laughs> Eventually, that kid did get a real dog. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, doesn't sound right to me. It, it doesn't sound right. I can't say that the that he relates to the dog as much as the parents do, which is kind of sad, you know, because I think he grew up with a warped sense of what a dog is. <laughs> yeah, that's just me. It's not something with needs that he needs to fulfill. The dog is there for him rather than he there for the dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been interesting. Wow. Well, I, was, I was reading about the difference between what, a solitary life and a lonely life. And people who like a solitary life are doing quite well with this isolation. Correct. So which one are you, Karen? <laughs> No, that's a good question. I guess I'm a combination. So you have moments of uh, moments of extrovertness that comes out, right? There are moments like as such. Yeah. 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 Totally. I I get it. So I'm just putting in these boats a little bit better now. Getting the drawing, just cleaning up the drawings. As I go in. I'm gonna bring that so this other boat, green boat this. Need to fill in this spot back there. There's missing it. There you go. A few spots, but darker. Just 
flats in the sky. You know, some of these buildings have telephone poles around them. How are you relating the background? It's hard to tell. Um, uh, they have telephone poles? On the left, left side of the building, are you adding to anything there? I mean, over here? Yeah, are you putting that boom in, for instance? Um, I was not going to do it. I was okay. not really. I don't think it, it's, I, I think it takes away from when I, if I painted it in here. Suggest it, some tree background, maybe? Well, I was finish. thinking over here, just putting in a, like a little, little, sh little teeny shack, fishing shack or something, mm -hmm. you know, down here, you know, just, just something that uh, breaks it, breaks, breaks the line, breaks this line here and can, can do me some, do some things. Maybe I, I might want to look at, uh, and uh, Serena brought up putting in a nice cloud formation could be could could also do it. Because there's always little things you can do, uh, or even uh, what you know, somebody said uh, putting in a uh, a light to house or something. You know, it all good solutions solutions uh, that can. Uh, you just got to watch, look at it a little bit. Maybe, maybe what I should do before I make any like decisions like this, I got to live with, uh, is, uh, take it into Procreate, take a picture of this, put it in Procreate and then, uh, you know, put in the, put in the cloud, put in and, and see what, what happens. See if, if I put in a decent check, if I, want to go find a little bit more reference on a, on a shack that I can, you know, don't make a total, uh, you know, made, you know, made up too much because sometimes it, it'll just stand out like it is a little bit too much as being fake. And that, that also takes away from this area. But so that's what I, my, I think my next steps would, would be on that. Uh, this thing has come along though. I'm surprised. Kind of a lot of things went in a lot faster. I think these boats are going to take a lot longer to take put in. They're going in pretty quick. Uh, I'm not going to put in uh, these things going around this guy because I don't need them. I don't think they need they need them. I think as soon as I put in the couple slats of the, the sitting area here, it'll be enough. And I'm just gonna, you know, there's enough information right in those little things there that say enough. There. Are... Just trying to pick out what you put in, what you leave out. And how clean you can put it in sometimes. Just get a highlight here and we'll see. That blue could go up just a little. Just uh, up there, a little bit better. Could be a little wider too. Close enough. Now then in here, I just gotta do a little more work on this ground here. I probably make it a little bit darker at the edges here. Yeah. Let's give it some some something to play, some darkness on the edge. Force your hair, force your back end of the painting a little bit. And then I'll go back in. Boy, this fits. That might end up being really a bad problem. I'll do that just a little more. 
We're straddling in this boat. I have a question about the water to the left. Is how much does it reflect the sky and how much does it have its own color? Uh, it is a just reflecting a little bit of that that sky. It's uh, probably on the lower frequency of that sky. Or is it higher, you know? So it's really pretty white. I mean it in the in what I'm seeing it's almost white. I mean but I'm going to give it a little more color. I'll try to keep it keep it on the interesting. Because uh, I'm afraid, you know, there's no reason not to make it a little interesting, more interesting than it was. What it needs now. Good point, Karen. You know, really. You know, there's always this goofy little thing, these little cartoon lines you put in, in water that make it, that I, those big bags that read as water. Even if they're not there, you put them in. How big is the monitor you're looking at? Huge, huge. It's like bigger than this painting. So it makes it a lot. How can you, can you really tell I'm looking at it? <laughs> but, um, the reason I ask is some of the details I'm, I miss. And, but on my laptop, I'm looking at my laptop monitor all the time. Oh, yeah, your like laptop 15. is going to be, yeah. I mean, but you'll see them when you blow it up. I guarantee it. My monitor here is like a 30 inch monitor, okay. you know, so it really, I can, and I, I, it's, uh, it just really helps seeing the stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Like I said, maybe Maybe that isn't the best uh, solution. That's a little. What is one of your famous clouds? Yeah, I, let me uh, clean that up. You know, see if I can clean that up. I have to make some paint to do. Clean it up. One of my famous clouds. There we go. See? See, Ron? Great. I'm famous. I'll get them. They'll get them on. Well, put it in. I got to use the biggest brush possible. Cleaning, I gotta clean, I gotta clean. I hate cleaning. Yeah, you can put a nice yellow one right in here. A little ochre, a little white. You know, I'm just, just drawing in. Something like and a couple like little ones down here. Soften it up a little bit. Well, that would have been right. It was up here, it would be fine. Gives it a little more.
I'll clean that area up. Uh, pretty much it. Did you say yellow ochre and white or caddy yellow and white? I use yellow ochre and white on that one. Okay. Yes, I wanted a little on the creamier side, I felt. Mm -hmm. Since it was my famous cloud, you know, I, that's what I thought. I'd make sure it was right. <laughs> Thank you for giving out your secret. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a second. I just gave out a, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is class. I don't give out secrets in class. Those don't come to like the sixth or seventh year. I got you guys painting and stuff. Then I might give out one. Let's just put a little tree then, you know, in, in, in that place. Maybe just a little bump of a hedge or something, mm -hmm. you know. You know, it could easily also, you know, I love putting poles in. So it could be just a, a little pole over here. It's just, it just needs, see this line here coming down just tells you you need something right about here, about that height. And just to break it up. Now bring me right back around. Even though it's a square, when I'm done, <laughs> let's work with that. Let me put these in. These guys got washed away. And things. Just use my knife to just put in a couple things that could be details. Wash them away. So I got that line in there. So it's going to have to have a little bit of in the water. Ah, shoot. Give it a little light. It's a pole. All right, how's everybody doing? Everybody about that? Everybody has this? Holy cow, it's 1220 already. Yeah, who wants a show? Not me. Who wants a show, Nance? <laughs> oh, wow. Nance, Nance, I heard you say it. Yeah. She Nancy said no. Wants a show. I'm not no. Even, she said no. I'm not anywhere in she here. She said no. No, that, I, I heard yes. I did too. I, did. <laughs> I heard no. <laughs> All right, let's see who's going to show. Who wants to show? I'll show. I'll Here comes out. Ron. See? Men first. Men first. Always. Always. Oh, boy. Oh, that looks great. Oh, it you lifted a little bit, Ron. Lift it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh you you added card. Uh, oh, that's perfect, Ron. Wow, that reads good. Wait a minute. Wow, Ron. Ron, that looks good. You got people in it, too. Lovely. Good. Ron, the picture is good. Well, I think I'm going to have a lot more confidence if I know I can keep it from Jim if I don't want to show it. Yeah. You better. You got to get yeah. something done. You, you, yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't look like a boathouse, though at all. So. <laughs> it's, it's behind those buildings. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> that I mean, it's a really nice yeah. interpretation. <laughs> and you spot oh, the teepee. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The teepee, I see yeah. a couple of green like, ones in the like back. Like Michigan is back there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I can see oh, it right up. there. You can almost see the water. <laughs> I'm going to send you a picture, Jim, so you can, uh, you can uh, critique me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna send you a picture of it. Okay, you send me a good picture. I will. And I'll, I'll take a look up. You know, it looks really good, though, Ron. Thank good you. job. You know, as usual. You know, I'd only make like twenty or thirty comments, so I'm I know. good. <laughs> okay. All right, nice. Anybody else want to get beat up? 
Well, I'm going to show one and see if you can critique that one. Okay, here comes uh, Sabrina. Yeah, Sabrina just got to pick hers up, pick her out. Oh, yeah, that, that thing's a piece of crap. Oh, that's beautiful. That's nice. Oh, that is lovely. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, you know, yeah, the te texture in that paint is pretty <laughs> awesome. Look at that they that's a good brand. Too. It's, it's Jim's. I got this. I, I smoked <laughs> this one a while back. <laughs> How funny. Why did I joke about it? Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see your real one, though. Where's today's? I didn't do today's, but I'll show you my disaster on Grand Canyon. Hang on. Okay. Cool. Did I lose? Who did I lose? Your video? No, no. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. There. Oh wow. Oh, oh. nice. Yeah. Nice. I can do better. Of, of course. That. You know, when you do the sixth or seventh try, you know, you're always going to do better, right? Oh, yeah. this one, it, it's funny. I wanted to, okay, I'm going to turn off the video because it's that bad. But oh. I wanted to revamp <laughs> this one this, uh, late last year. And yeah. I, it still was a disaster. Oh. oh, well. Well, you know, what are you, you working with, with one of your old photos, right? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look, you know, it has a lot of, I think it has some real good stuff in it. You got good solid, they have some solid uh, structure to it. Uh, why don't you take a picture of it and send it to me? Maybe I'll throw it in Procreate for you and I'll show you. Maybe there's a few things I can take. And, I'd, you know, I'd like it. to see what, okay. what Rosemary and Andrea have done because they always do interesting no. things. No, no. No, I don't want to see. It. We, go, we, go, we got to go to Nance first. Where's no. Nance? Okay. No, Nancy. I'm in she says no. She always says no. There you go. Okay, we'll go. I think Andrew. Andrew oh, Andrea is still here. Yeah. Okay, you got you ready? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of bright in this room, so it might show more brush strokes, but I'll try. Uh, there you go. Okay. Well, just a quick quick to show that you have been working. I have been working. <laughs> oh, very oh, very nice. Yeah. Hey. Very nice. 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 Where the work? Man. I'm not too sure about the side of the building yet. I got to redo the or the perspective, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah I think you're, you're looks like a couple windows are falling down. Yeah, they are. Yeah. But, I kind of lost <laughs> my Because <laughs> that's okay. I, you know, you can catch it. You can still the, at least the beauty thing with the oil. I like the window. I like the yeah. the top windows have a have a nice uh, look to them and stuff. Okay. So, that dinging on the and, and the boats and the boats are good. Great. Yeah, it's still it, it, it has. I like. I kind of like the openness too in this front area and stuff. It feels like a beach almost. It is like on a beach. Okay. That, I like that too. Yeah, I, I didn't even do anything. That was the rough thin part. <laughs> you know, that's the thing is sometimes it's just that sim simple cleanness that makes makes the roughness uh, jump out. Yeah, yeah. Windows are kind of a, a fun thing, but like you said, you could be overworked too quickly too if you get into doing them. You know, right. Kind of watch that a little. Sometimes, yeah, oh, just the, the, just a little bit of knife work sometimes will clean them up. Okay. And stuff. Sounds good. It looks good. It looks really good. Thanks. All right. Back to Nancy. Is she willing to show or not? Yeah, I'll show you. I oh, oh, far, I oh, oh that'll be fun. <laughs> okay, Nancy, you're coming up then. Rosemary, Rosemary, you're next. Unless okay. you left. Yep, here, I'm here. There you okay, go. Okay, here. Uh, I'm still trying to find Nancy's won't show. She, she shut off her video. That's oh, a great did I, oh, I guess I did. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. I'm still learning this whole thing. No worries. No worries. I'm just trying to get it. It just it takes a second. You Sometimes you got to shut it off for it to come it back on. There you go. I got you now. And now it shows up. Yeah. Wow. Right, Nancy. Wow. Nancy, what, that is gorgeous. A little bit higher. Raise it up. Lift it. A little higher. A little higher. A little higher. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, it's coming along. 
Wow. You want me to go Ooh. get the tractor heaven one? Sure, if you want, but that 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 has a. I love the light on that. You really captured the the light coming on that one wind going across yeah. the window right under that window. It's beautiful. Thanks. It's nice. Very nice. She's she can be taught. She can. Be taught. You, want me, you want me to get tractor heaven? Sure. Yeah. yeah sure. Throw it up here. Here you go. Yeah, Sabrina, the clouds were a good solution. Yeah, I the road on this I'm guy. glad you like it. Wow. Very good. Oh, well done. Thank you. Very, very, very good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I that's like that uh, horizon, the green horizon. It's very, very good. It reads well. Okay. Okay, Nance. That's take it. Pitch, put them up in the group. Take pictures, put them up in the group when you can. I will when us... you send me wait, send me the link again because I, I must have deleted it. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, no. Everybody, I'll try to, you know. Okay. I see a few. I see, you know, there's a few people that aren't on it. Ron can't get on it. So. <laughs> yeah. You know, Let Ron on it. Thank no, Ron will go. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rose. All right, here goes. Here she comes. Oh, there it is. Oh, it looks great, Rosie. Yeah, it's nice. Wow. I like the seagulls. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't like it at all. Okay. I don't know why. I just hate it. You know, I don't I know think... if it's... I don't yeah, know if the I sailboats think... belong there, but I, I couldn't stand the empty space, so I made more water and tried to put a sail. Couple of sales. Damn you! Damn you! Stuff. <laughs> Every time you do it. That is really nice. Wow, that's a beautiful. that's a really great that's a really nice interpretation. Mm -hmm. Well, that Still really. Works. Wow. Beautiful. Man, okay. I like beautiful. the the texture on the on the boathouse, mm -hmm. and and the way yeah. the boats are, are working with it are done really well, really well. Thanks. You know, uh, man. Okay, Too much let's be I maybe I I got to Yeah, all right. I'll work on it more. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. take it easy. Take it easy on it though now. I think Whoa. it's really looking beautiful. Oh. Thanks. oh. Okay, thanks. <laughs> nice. Some, some New Orleans Mardi Gras beads. Yeah, it looks like Yeah, 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 that's my <laughs> Yeah. This Do we got there this year? Oh. <laughs> my mojo. You got 16 in it, Rosemary. Yes, I do. I do. Ellen, Doesn't show say... up. <laughs> oh. Hello, well, Ellen. Ellen, you've been so quiet. I didn't know you were there. Yeah. I've just been yeah. watching. I think she fell asleep with her dogs. Yeah. <laughs> What's the problem with painting in your bedroom? Yeah. Turn on, turn on your camera. My thing looks a lot like uh, like mountains instead. Oh, that's okay. So I'm just getting that started. I'm still trying to get her. Uh, there she is. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, yeah, you starting to put in some flowers and stuff in the big yeah. in the bottom. The yellows. Well, it's going to be some trees, but I got to get those uh, cut in. So I'm cutting in the trees and then figuring out the. Nice. Leaves. Okay. Can you slide it over anymore? Go which way? This way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Let's see. I know the mount. You always the just right hand side. Yeah, yeah, see it, really like, catching. This whole thing. There we go. It's moving a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. So, Ellen, are you adding anything to the paint? It almost looks like a cold wax texture. No, just palette. Nice. I don't know. Yeah, it does feel like cold wax, doesn't it? Yeah, and I don't even yeah. know what that is. I just saw. It. Well, she oh, is. Yeah. She's painting that with the water-based paints. Yeah, yeah, but that's a neat nice. job. Looks real nice. Nice job, Ellen. Yeah, well, I'm in process, so it'll be She better. shut us off again. She doesn't want to show us off her room. Oh, <laughs> I think you saw that last week. It was that Yeah, bit. yeah, we saw your dog sitting there with you. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. I gotta go, guys. But thanks for being here. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 I just watched today. I learned a lot. Thank you. Oh, okay, just checking. And Mary Beth? Hold sure, it up, I'll yeah. show it. Oh, I like, the only thing I really like is my sky, which I don't know if you can see. Well, nice. Oh, nice. yeah, you're right. Wow, you're right. I love the sky, that sky. Have a, wow, the sky's got a lot of, a lot of uh, nice uh, feel to it. I mean, uh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, but you know, my perspective is the thing I really am most challenged with, so. Me too. Yep. And uh, when I'm looking at it, it, the reflection of it in my computer, it's like, yeah, it really, oh my God. I, I need to learn about well, perspective. Perspective is hard for me too, Mary Beth. I'm you trying know, there's to... a really good thing called Circle Line videos. The guy does perspective lessons on the internet. It's free. Oh, really? He, yeah, it's really neat. He doesn't use... He does it all freehand. All these straight lines. It's it's really neat. It's called, it called circle, circle line. line? It's called circle line, yeah. Okay, I yeah. It. Okay. Last That's time nice. I did that with the finger painting in, in grade school. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. All right. Well guys, nice session today. I'm sorry, start right. off a little rough there. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Was great right, seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'll talk to you guys all next week. Yeah. Or on yep. Monday. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good bye -bye. week. Bye -bye.